Welcome to this quick guide where I'm going to show you how to add a free VPN in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you get any value out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. But to get started with the guide, if you want to add a free VPN on Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can follow these steps. Now to start, you can open up your web browser of choice and then you can do a search for VPN book. Then you can go to the official VPN book website, which is vpnbook.com. And this website gives you free VPNs that you can use on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you want some more info about these VPNs, you can go over to the features tab here and you can have a look at all of the features that they list here on the website. And you can also click on the privacy tab here if you want to read through their privacy policy and see what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. But to get the VPN, you can click on the free VPN accounts tab up here. Now here on this free VPN webpage, if you scroll down, you'll get a bunch of VPNs. And the one that we're going to be using in this video is this free point to point tunneling VPN. Now, if you scroll a little bit farther down, you'll see all of these VPN servers here. And I suggest that you choose one that's closest to you. But in this example, I'm just going to use this UK VPN. And you'll also see that they have a username and a password listed at the bottom here. So to add this VPN in Windows 10, you can go down to the system tray and then right click on your network icon and then open the network and internet settings. Then once that's open, if you have a look to the left here, you'll see this VPN tab and you can click on that. By default, these two options should be enabled and then you can click on add a VPN connection. Now in this next window, you can click on this drop down menu and then select Windows built in, which is the only option that you have there. This connection name, we can just call this VPN book. Next, the server name or address. If you go back to this VPN book website, you now need to copy the address of the VPN server that you want to use. I said I'm going to use this UK VPN. So I'll select that text and then right click on it and click copy Then go back to settings and then right click and paste that server address right there. The VPN type, we're going to click on this drop down menu and then change it to point to point tunneling protocol. And then the type of sign in info, you can leave that on username and password. Then you can click on username and go back to the VPN book website. And now you need to add this username, which is VPN book. So just go ahead and select that, right click on it and then click on copy, go back to settings and then paste it in the username and the password. We're going to do the same with that. And then you'll see that you're not able to copy this password. Now, just to make sure that I'm typing the correct password, I'll just type in the address bar up here and then press space bar. And then I'm going to type the password to make sure that I'm actually typing the correct password. Then I'll just select this and then right click on it, click on cut, then go back to settings and then paste it, then click on save. And then you'll see that you'll have this VPN book connection here. So to connect to this VPN, you can just click on it and then you can click on connect. And if it's successful, the status will change to connected. Now, if you want to verify that you are connected to the VPN, you can go back to your web browser. And then you can do a Google search and you can do a search for what's my IP. And then you'll be able to see your public IP address. And as you can see, it's currently detecting that I'm in Iraq, which is not true. So I am connected to the VPN and that is not my actual public IP address. Now, in terms of the speeds that you can expect, if we go to speedtest.net and we do a quick speed test. These speeds to me are quite good for a free VPN and it's better than using nothing at all. Now, if you want to disconnect or remove this VPN, you can just go back to your network settings to the VPN tab and then you can click on disconnect, which will then disconnect you from this VPN. And if you want to change any of the settings, you can click on advanced options and then you can edit the username or password if you ever need to. But if you want to completely remove the VPN, you can just select it, then click on remove and then click on remove which will completely remove that free VPN from Windows 10. Now let me show you how to set it up on Windows 11. Okay, so to add the free VPN on Windows 11, you can also come over to the VPN book webpage and then you can choose a server. For this example, let's use this US VPN. So to add it to Windows 11, you can also navigate down to your system tray and then right click on that and open the network and internet settings. Then just scroll down and choose the VPN tab here and then you can also make sure that both of these settings are turned on and then you can click on add VPN and then you can basically go through the exact same steps. You can make sure that Windows built in is selected. 
and we can make this connection name a VPN book once again. You can also add the location of the server if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this US server. Just select that, right click, then select copy and then paste it over here. Scroll down, set the VPN type as point to point tunneling protocol and leave the sign in info as username and password. And then for the username, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy VPN book. And the password, once again, we can't copy that. So I'm just going to type it into the address bar once again, then select it and cut it and paste it over here. And then make sure that this box is selected and then click on save. And then we can see that it's not connected right now. So to connect to it, just click on connect. It should then connect to that VPN. And then once it's connected, we can go ahead and we can do a search for what's my IP. So we can check what our public IP address is. And let's see what it says. My IP's location is from Washington, DC, United States. So that means we are connected to the VPN. And I'm not going to do a speed test on this VPN. If you want to change any of these settings, once again, you can just click on this VPN. You can disconnect from it if you want. And then if you click on the VPN and click on advanced options here, once again, you can edit these properties. If it ever changes, you can change the password here and then just save the changes. And you also have some proxy settings here and more VPN settings that you can edit. And then also, if you want to remove it, just go back to the VPN tab, click on the drop down and then click on remove and click on confirm. And that VPN connection will be completely removed from Windows 11. So I hope this guide's been helpful. Please like the video. And if you have any questions or thoughts on the video, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon.